everyone, Derek here today, bringing you another vlog. First off, I hope everybody had a great Friday. It is now the weekend, so make sure you enjoy yourself, stay safe, and yeah. I do want to also apologize for missing Thursday's video. As you guys know, I was literally trying to post a video every single day of the week. Well, Monday through Friday, that is. And the reason why I didn't get to post a video Thursday is due to some unfortunate circumstances. I'm not going to go into details about it, but um, I think this next little clip I show you will explain a lot. But yeah, you know, it's living life. So as you guys just saw, um, I think you guys are smart enough to figure this out, but um, yeah, you know, it's unfortunate, it really is. But you know guys, as I said, it's life and sometimes things in life suck. But I am going to say your boy is fine, um, I'm just focusing on this. Like, you guys are my world and I truly mean that and that's exactly why I made a commitment to myself and a commitment to you guys to do what I truly love in life. And you know, at one point, it really felt like that I started to lose who I was and what I stood for and what I was working for for the past two years straight. And you know, it's just, it feels good. It feels good in a way. But yes, guys, on another note, today's video is gonna be super fun. I'm super excited and I know you guys are probably really stoked because the last time I filmed with Zach and his car, you kind of saw a little rough project going on with his um, 96. And Zach, I'm so sorry, I think it's a 96. I hope I'm really not butchering that, but it's the SN95 body style. But as I was saying, the last time you guys saw it, um, it was, you know, kind of in its pre-stage, like before it even had like a totally clear vision. God damn, did that even make sense? It was in the pre-stage to where he had a vision and you know he was trying to make it become a reality and as of today guys the car looks insane oh my god my arm hurts anyways guys as i said we're gonna head outside and i cannot forget this ah uh, the good old squeaky door all right so we have blue out here i've been driving her all day this car is so much fun you're probably you're probably sick of he hearing god damn i can't talk you're probably sick of hearing me say that, but I'm absolutely enjoying it. And I can't wait to get the intercooler because when we get the intercooler, I plan on swapping out the pulley and then I still have my Anderson's power pipe. So we're definitely going to be over 400 and this thing at 340, absolute monster. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For all you Cobra owners out there, go ahead and laugh it up. Absolute monster. Listen, guys, I came from 200 and 20 horsepower to the wheel, 340. That's a big deal to me. I know you guys are like six, 700 horsepower. <laughs> Whatever. But enough about my car. Zach is now here and he is pulling in. You gotta check this out. There she is. Hello. Hello. Here he is, guys. Zach has now arrived with his 96 Mustang. Boy, oh boy, we have a lot to fill them in on, don't we? Dude, the car. Oh my god, I can't wait. I got a feeling a lot of the people that were talking shit and, you know, at, with the, from the first video, they're gonna be pretty upset because, oh, yeah. dude, this, like, wow. I'm actually, I'm quite hyped for you because this Me is too. insane, dude. But yeah, guys, here it is. This is his 1996 slash 1999 slash 2003. Dude, it has a little bit about everything on there. 2001. And 2001. I'm going to go ahead and throw up a little clip on the screen and we're kind of, God, I can't talk today, dude. We're going to go ahead and throw a little clip on the screen of when we first got the car on the channel. And like I said, he got a lot of hate for it because, you know, people, they're all confined in their own little box and they have no open mind about anything. So if that applies to you, shame on you because... He did a great job with this. But yeah, here's the clip. How's it been going though, difficulty wise? A little trouble, but not as much as I expected, which is scary. I'm waiting for it to hit me. Yeah. I'm waiting for the, the big wall to come. Yeah, speaking about a big wall. Let's just say, right? I'm, I'm, I'm on your side. <laughs> oh, no, no, I get this. it. I've been thinking about but that. But let's just say this doesn't, like, you know, it doesn't, it's not the final product you're looking for. What do you do? I'm sure a subscriber will buy it. <laughs> it's so weird looking at this. New edge front end with that's a 95 rear end. And I think it's gonna look really cool. As you guys saw, it really looked rough. It yeah, did. When it you was... were doing it, dude, I was very skeptical. And I wasn't doubting you, but I was nervous for you because Same. take a look.
right there is what his car looked like before all this, and you're probably wondering, why did you cut the front end off? I was wondering the same thing, <laughs> yeah. but because the car looked amazing, but I mean, it looks it looks awesome. It really does. You did a good job with it. As you can see, he still has this part to do, this right side. Um, you can kind of see exactly how it formed and on the other side there. It turned out really good. Nice 4.6 badge there. I like that. He put the radials on. Those look insane. And what did we do at um, Joel's the other day? I totally forgot to film it. Rolled the fenders. Oh yeah, we rolled the fenders. If you ever get really wide tires on your car, please keep this in mind. Zach and I have <laughs> both been through this and it's the absolute worst. So with the new edge rear fenders and SN95s and so on and so forth, if you feel underneath there and yours haven't been modified, modified as in rolled or pulled or whatever you wanna call it, they're gonna be flat right here. Now the problem is, is when it comes down to here in this area, since it's flat and let's say you hit a bump and the whole suspension goes down, that flat part that's sticking out actually jags into the tire and as you can see here with all that force and while you're rolling it really rips apart your tires you know you just learned the very hard way those are brand new tires which yeah. suck so guys if you've been keeping up with the videos this past week I did mention in the last video actually that I posted on Wednesday that we had quite a surprise for you on this car because one of these pieces is actually from blue now for the front bumper this is the one that was actually on the car Zach hit me up to get it I was like dude this thing is flex it had no tabs on it nothing to hold it to the fender but this little guy went full drift mode Honda life JDM and you know he did some what are these even called I just call them bumper clips. Bumper clips, yeah. okay. Well, he put some bumper clips on there, and it looks like the original Cobra bumper from blue lives on. Got the bezels, mock wind lip, and dude, it's looking insane. <laughs> I don't know how. I'm happy. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. But all right, guys, so we talked a little bit about the car. Um, I honestly kind of want to interview him. So what we're going to do, I'm going to set up the GoPro inside the car. We're going to go for a quick drive, and I want him to give you guys like some insight on why he did this. I think you might be the first one on YouTube to do this whole entire thing on film. I'm not saying you're the first person ever. On YouTube though, you might be the first. I did actually, I saw in the first video, the comments, people were like, oh, I've seen a guy do this and whatever. And to justify that, the black car that did it, he just did this section of the, the bumper. Fender, the bumper, the headlights, and the hood. The fenders were still SN95. Ah, so you so that's got what them. I call it the first full front end. Yeah, I mean, literally. The whole fender all the way. Damn. All right, I'm hoping this looks all right. A little to the left, a little to the right, two hops this time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. I think so. So I'm winging this. I didn't really check to see if we're on the screen properly, but I can kind of... look real quick. Nah, we're good. Let's roll. I hope you guys could see us and I hope you guys could hear us because this thing is loud. <laughs> Right, guys so we made it back to the house and again I do want to apologize I know this video wasn't fulfilled and action-packed but I know many of you guys were asking for an update video a ton of people were wondering when we were gonna do it so figured today it's Friday you know just a nice simple video of an are you fucking kidding me? So do me a favor, if you guys like the way this car is looking, please drop me a huge thumbs up. Yeah. Drop a comment down below. The more likes and the more comments we get, places this video higher on the charts, so just please do that for me. All right, bro, well, I'll let you get going. Thanks All for right, coming dude. out, and you are like ogre green right now. That stupid light, we just confirmed it. I thought my camera was broken. I literally went inside, because this is like, look how green it is, it's nuts. Make sure you guys go follow him on Instagram, it's right here. Just gotta get that plug. Definitely go drop him a follow. I'm anxious to see what else you got planned for this thing, man. They aren't ready for it. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think I'm ready. Especially if you get, you know, the chest. Didn't say it. Dude, don't ruin it. Alright, man. I'll see you later. Alright guys, before I go ahead and wrap up today's video, I want to thank you guys so much for your continued support. As I said in the beginning, you guys truly mean so much to me, you'll never understand that. 
Sorry I'm getting all sappy with you guys, but I truly mean it. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, if you did, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment with any questions or concerns. If you want to say what's up, that's cool too. And today's DBP vlog shout out is going out to Stevie Boy 528 Thank you so much for your continued support, and I love the color on the car. Make sure you guys go check him out on Instagram. And for those of you that want a chance to win a shout out on the vlogs, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Follow your boy. At Derek Brand Productions and use hashtag DBP Sweat on all your posts. As you guys know, every time I film a video, such as this one, I go to hashtag SU Hughes Day, and boom, that's how you get your shout out. Again, guys, thank you so much for your continued support and for watching. We will see you Monday. But until next time, we'll see you later. Blow up. Blow. Blow. I don't even understand how the fuck my plugs talk.